Well, hello everybody. We are getting caught up after the boondocking challenge. I have been running around like a madman. Just gonna give you a little bit of an update. Gonna be heading out here pretty soon, going to Palm Springs to meet up with a friend. After the boondocking challenge, I came here to California, ended up filming at the Van Life app meetup, and from there went up to the Bay Area to film some more tiny homes. I did a total of 17 tiny homes for the Tiny Home Tours YouTube channel and just finished up not too long ago uh, launching the Schoolie Manual. By the time you watch this, it'll already be launched. Links down below if you want to check it out. It's basically how I make money on the road. Uh, also the Schoolie Build, full schematics, basically encapsulates what I've been up to for the last 10 years into one document. But uh, that launched, I am finally free and clear to chill and rest. I am mentally and physically done. I need a break for sure. Uh, I'll be showing you where that break will be leading me. It's definitely a bucket list uh, trip. But meeting up with a friend in Palm Springs here in a bit, I'll show you what I've been up to with the bus. So with the iMac, you can see that I got this arm from Amazon. It's just an Amazon basics. I'm able to lift it up, move it around, pivot the screen. It's been really, really nice just being able to sit on the couch, get some work done, sit in the office area over here, or uh, once I get all of the tools and everything moved, I'll be able to uh, sit right here and have the desktop as well as the laptop basically do the dual screens. Uh, that thing has been an absolute monster. The Wi-Fi spot that I have up here, it brings in the cell service that's been working amazing. Uh, every time that I had mediocre service so far on the trip besides once, that was actually able to bring in really good service, be able to project it across the bus. That's been working out awesome. Also, you can see here the first coat of paint. This is a little bit darker, but it goes really, really well with the stainless as well as the countertops. I am beyond stoked on how good this looks. So got that all painted as well. Other than that, that's pretty much the only updates. I have literally just been working nonstop uh, the last two weeks or so. Regarding the boondocking challenge, that did not last as long as I had hoped. When I get to my location, we're gonna look up who the winner of the boondocking challenge was. I honestly haven't had time to look at it. So there's gonna be two winners. One person that guessed the closest to how long I was actually out living off the grid, and one person will be picked randomly. So, I need to get going. My friend is driving over from, uh, from San Diego. We work together at Canteen. Uh, his name's Cody, he does digital marketing. I was trying to convince him to get on the road, but easier said than done. So, let's get going. Gotta live hard, maybe die young. Don't let them get you down, cause they're all around you. And ain't no story easy, it's worth telling. Just gotta close my eyes. Alright, so my friend Cody is about an hour out. I'm just gonna get cleaned up in here a little bit. Uh, maybe get some work done online then we're cooking dinner and just uh, chilling out tonight I don't know how long he's uh, staying he does work remote like I said so it's kind of going with the flow but that drive in man I was tired roads were terrible what keeps happening with the uh, with the Mac so I have used this paper as a buffer for now I need to get some material some other material but the same system that I use for the cabinets I use for this I drilled a hole and then I can thread this in there and that holds it down but the roads are so bad here that it just moves like by the time like I was essentially I had to pull over the side of the road because the iMac was like out to here because the roads were so stinking bumpy 
that it just slowly rattles out and comes out so i might need to put a couple of those in there not too sure yet but right now that is the least of my concerns I need to get some stuff done online so catch y'all when cody gets here we're here with cody say what's up bud what's up how was uh your night last night it was good good catching up won some money at the casino so cody won some money so <laughs> i won us money this is what happened <laughs> so did pretty well at roulette which is game of chance my my lucky number 32 32 red hits pretty well so what happened was i walked up to the table and 32 red hit right when i walked up to the table basically whenever i go to a casino if i check something out if 32 has been hitting then I'll play. If there's no 32s, I won't play. Like, I never win. So, literally, as I walked up to the table, 32 hit. Sat down with Cody, showed him roulette, how that works. Just hung out there for a little bit. Won some money there. Basically, I doubled my money, bought in for 40. Then we walked over to the blackjack table. And Cody was hitting. Mm -hmm. I was not hitting. <laughs> so, basically, we... Uh, I'd say it was, it was a wash. And then just hung out. So, I had planned on filming when Cody got here, but the GoPro, it takes a ton of time to upload the video sometimes, and by the time that this was all set up, we had already eaten dinner, went to the casino, and then just crashed when we got back here. So, what's the plan for today, bud? You just hanging out for a bit and then back to San Diego? The plan is no plan. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, see where the day goes. Absolutely. So we're just going over a bunch of different social media stuff here, Facebook ads, all that fun stuff, talking shop. But I have a lot to, a lot of interesting stuff happening online in terms of the schoolie manual. Basically, doing my first email campaign, and very intrigued to see how that's going to go. It's a lot of work into something. I hope people really, really enjoy it. But time will tell. So, just in case we don't film again before you leave, what's your word of advice for people watching the video? Word of advice. Yep. Buy your schoolie ma manual. <laughs> <laughs> that was not planned. <laughs> All right. So we are doing a little bit of a screen share here. So I was searching to see who got the closest to the boondocking challenge. So I started uh, on March 5th at 7 a.m. after I picked up a package from Tony's and ended March 21st. Uh, early in the morning there, I believe it was uh, 8 a.m., 15 seconds. I did the math. And it was 16 days in one hour. So in light of recent political news, I'm sure this will get a lot of comments, but actual winner is, so there's a bunch of flies here. Uh, the winner is Don Trump. So I will be messaging him, <laughs> good old Don Trump, and going over to the giveaway as well. So. Don Trump wins uh, first place prize. The second place prize will be randomly drawn drawn from the uh, the email sign up that I had. So, congratulations, Don Trump, and thanks for watching, everybody. And catch you tomorrow. I think I'll be doing a live video tomorrow around uh, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, just an update on the schoolie manual and what I've been up to. So. Catch you all there.